Well, this is uh, lunch time of day 35. Uh, just had some breakfast in Creed and we camped just a little bit outside of Creed uh, by the the fire hall or the firehouse in the just the hole in the wall there in the rocks. Uh, a little before that turn left as a trail going into the woods and found a nice little spot here. Me and a buddy that I met in town, uh, his name is Ben, and yeah, he knew exactly where uh, Elmer, Ontario was, where I'm from, and he said he had family there and stuff, <laughs> so that was pretty cool. I uh, never knew I'd met some, meet somebody out here that knew the little town of Elmer, <laughs> and this is where I had my, this is my tent, where I had my tent camp pitched last night and this is uh, Ben set up uh, he's still in town uh, he's having a lunch and everything in town and probably stay in town for a little while yet and, but I want to get back on the trail and start making some miles again did some did some shopping at the grocery store got, got, got an onion again some jalapenos an avocado some tortillas and that yeah, was good. Uh, me and Ben sat at the bar. Had, we sat at the bar for like three hours, had like four four beers each. And had a had a, a buckwurst a sausage on a bun and a burger and a fries and drink at the at the burger place there in here in Creed and now I'm heading back towards the road hopefully I can get a hitch in uh, that would be sweet picked up my resupply box as well shipped home for SD cards again and yeah it's another good another good uh, town visit Next stop is Silverton and then Durango. Uh, today I gotta climb that, that uh, all the way up to 12.7 again where I was yesterday. Uh, that's gonna be tough, especially with the resupplied pack. And but uh, this segment has quite a bit of uh, 12,000 feet, so we'll see. See how. How far I make it today, really. Um, clouds are forming again. It's around lunchtime, maybe a little, a little after 12. Really need to get a watch. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was a really good visit here in Creed. Uh, I was lucky I got a hitch in right as I got down to that Jeep Road. Um, Although I got, I went on the wrong track for a little while, but uh, it all worked out. I'm glad it, although I did lose my data book, I got another one. Bought one at the outdoor store here and I bought some fuel as well. And yeah, the outdoor store here is pretty sweet. They got, they got a lot of shit in there, so a lot of cool stuff. And yeah. It, Quite a few of the restaurants and a breakfast place or and restaurant is open or is closed here in Creed on Tuesdays. Uh, quite a few of them. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly why, but yeah, they're all closed on Tuesdays. And so I had a cream cheese and everything bagel this morning with uh, with a cinnamon roll, large coffee. And ran into a group of hikers there too, and hung out with them for a while. And it's been a good day so far. Hopefully, I can get a hitch back into back to the trail with no with no problem. This Ben guy <laughs> that uh, I camped with and hung out with us yesterday, uh, he he had to walk 
all the way into into Creed. So it's not the greatest hitch, but like I said, I just got lucky. All right, well, I'm on my way back to St. Louis Pass. I got a pitch from an awesome family from Texas uh, that brought me from the Creed Mining Museum, the fire station area, to, uh, we went right over the bridge and towards Phoenix, Phoenix Park and from there the road just turns into a, a Jeep road and took the Jeep road up the as it continued all the way over to uh, the road that I originally, or originally came into Creed with um, I think it's a 505 and it's a real nice road well done the Reed did the road more or less just last time we came down yesterday and so it's still a little bit of hiking although I think it took like four or five miles off off the trip so uh, the hitch the hitch that I got so pretty grateful for that but still got a ways to go Yeah, I'm glad I met them though. Uh, they were really curious about <laughs> my entire trip and uh, had all kinds of questions and oh, I'm glad to answer them, I really am. I love talking about being out here to other people that find it you know, amazing that uh, you know, f hiking five, six hundred miles and Yeah, so it's been pretty good. Just keep on heading towards, keep on heading towards the pass. Not sure how far I'll go today. Probably not too far. Haven't eaten lunch yet and I have no water at all. So, trying to make it to, uh, Willow Creek or Cataract Creek by St. Louis Pass. So, yeah, see what happens. Hopefully, there's some water soon. Been hiking for about four or five miles and drank quite a few beers yesterday, too. So, definitely doesn't help with the, with the hydration. But, yeah, it was a good, good town visit. Walking down the road. Well, I ran into a guy on a four wheeler and just asked him if he had any maps and just wanted to make, make sure that I was going the right way. And sure enough, he did. He had two very detailed maps and so yeah, I examined them and took quite a few photos of the area that I'm in. So well, I just got picked up by another couple uh, from Texas, and they. 
It brought me all the way down to this mine. I think I have another two miles to go to get to the trailhead. And, uh, and I was talking to him about my whole adventure and everything again. And uh, they asked if I had any bear protection, any gun <laughs> or a knife or anything or bear spray. I told him no, I didn't have anything. And that I probably should. But, uh, I mean, I haven't ran into any bears yet. But, uh, so they gave me <laughs> some bear spray, which is absolutely, like, extremely kind to them. I'm glad they'd, glad they gave it to me. It gives me some little more insurance. And I'm sure my mom would thank them too. <laughs> So, well, thank you so much. And they gave me some water, and they went about two or three miles out of their way, too, to bring me this far. So, that was really nice of them, really nice couple. Said that they just, they just came down from exploring BC and Alaska. Um, and the Northwest Territories, and so that was pretty cool too. It's taken me a little ways, a little while to get to here, but or to get to the trailhead. But I'll, I'll make it, and hopefully I can do a few miles today. That'd be nice. All right, well, I'm finally back here at the little parking lot before the Jeep trail starts. And the trail just goes up that way. And I'm gonna camp here for today. Uh, I made it all the way up to here. <sighs> it was, uh, well, I met up with Ben again, buddy that I camped with last week or last night, and he uh, he had already had to ride with someone else that was bringing him all the way up to here. So so then they see me beside the road and they picked me up too, <laughs> and. Yeah, came all the way up here, and uh, and the guy who brought us all the way up here had a couple of beers, and hooked us up with a couple of beers, and that was a good old time. Not too bad at all. So, yeah, and I'm gonna get out nice and early, and uh, yeah, start climbing, really. Get back on the trail, and start heading towards Slida, or Silverton, sorry, so that'll be nice. I just didn't want to go any further, don't really have much energy today, I like to fare a bit earlier in like five miles probably, and I still haven't eaten lunch, so I think that's why I'm, just, yeah, I don't really have that much energy, so I'm going to eat a huge supper. Lots of, lots of food. I got lots of food, so I got an avocado and everything, so I'm yeah, sure, I'm sure I'm gonna think of something good. All right, well, end of day 35. Yeah, day 35, yeah, so. Well, tonight for supper, I'm gonna have some Spanish rice, rice and pasta blend with bell peppers and sweet tomato sauce. I'm gonna add premium chunk chicken breast and a hot sauce and olive oil I have an onion that I'm going to chop up and add to that and I also have these uh, I'm going to put one the big jalapeno in there and I'm going to eat it with uh, avocado and my tortillas that I bought and if I got my onions and jalapenos all cut up here I'm gonna add two cups of water. Maybe a little extra. And I'm just gonna 
around this. Bring it to a boil. Let me add some little bit of olive oil yet. Well, here it is. <clears throat> I added the chicken already and the olive oil. I added some salt and pepper and also my hot sauce. That's all ready. It's been sitting for a while, nicely, nicely absorbed every all of it. And this is my avocado and my tortilla. I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt on that. And yeah, this is my supper for tonight, which I'm sure will be good.